Hey guys, it's Infinity here, Archangel Gabriel, and I am finally getting ready to do the meditation for this eclipse. It is July 2nd, 2019 at 5.30 a.m., and I was guided to pull a Dragon Fae card. I heard pull a card and this will help you and everyone understand what we're getting into for the theme of this meditation and and really the theme of the rest of your life and in this month uh so i shuffled the cards and Shumara came up and Shumara is card number 35. <laughs> so we're starting this at 5.30 and this is card number 35. I'm seeing Web of All Life. And I'm going to read to you straight from the book this entire card because it's all really important. And then we're going to get into the meditation. Shumara speaks. Beyond the mask we all wear of identity, beyond the construct of who we have been conditioned to believe we are, lies your face, your self. This face is tender and new in so many ways as you have not shown her to the world before. This face has been protected because the world has seemed to prove, has seemed and proved indeed at times to be a dangerous and unkind place where those of us who feel different are proved to be so. As we brave the taunts and finger pointing, but I now tell you that your protections, your armor and your shield can be removed safely with me. Do not discard her as you may need her yet in certain situations, but know that she is your armor and her role is to protect your true being. To you, I now reveal myself. See, many have recoiled in horror at who I truly am. I am a dragon fae maiden, a spider woman, a being of webs and change and destruction and recreation. Each day I must remake my world. I feel along its sensory threads to see what needs reconstruction and, and what needs to be let go of. For I am, as you are, part of the new web of life. A web of life that embraces our differences and yet understands that we are one. I ask you to, today to look at the webs in your life that must be remade and rewoven. About Shumara. Shumara is a dragon fae goddess from this world and beyond who, who presents as a spider. She is a powerful powerful weaver of energies dimensions and time sorry i got distraction distracted and my mouth isn't working i got distracted here at 5 33 four minutes into the into this recording here because as i'm reading this i'm reminded about this nasty spider bite that i got on my hand And I just had this really in, interesting vision of, of this bite. I don't know. I have to think about, think on that a little bit more. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start this over again. Okay, sorry. About Shumara. Shumara is a dragon fae goddess from this world and beyond who presents as a spider and she is a powerful weaver of energies, dimensions, and time. 
She is healing the rifts in dimensions and time, and we can assist her by understanding who we truly are and by working on our own individual weavings with consciousness and peaceful power. She holds together the strands of all four directions and creates ripple effects along them so we can communicate with worlds beyond this one known as Gaia. Shumara is a creation energy which brings together nations and tribes. I'm sorry, Shumara is the creation energy which brings together nations and tribes, peoples and families from this world and beyond, from other dimensions and times. Thus, she is our mother of time and is often often present when we have past life memories and experiences. When we receive premonitions about our future as she weaves together the strands that hold the past, present, and future in place. She knows they are all linked and that a ripple in one can be felt no matter how far apart we seem because we are linked by the web of life. She communicates via energy and sound, and thus you may hear a high-pitched ringing in your ears when she connects with you, as this is the vibration of the galactic web. Her role is to assist us in moving beyond our notions of economic short-term thinking and moving into galactic environmentalism, not simply for Gaia, but for all with which she is connected. She wants us to see the universe as our home, too. She wishes for us all to remove the mask that says, I am this, and to know we are that, but we are also so much more. I'm really getting excited for this meditation. <laughs> so I've been thinking about it and getting glimpses of it for the last few days. And this is just tying together in such a beautiful way. And the fact that we're starting at this time right now and it's just perfect. A new day starting. This is awesome. Okay, continuing here. Divinatory meanings. Coming out about beliefs, revealing more about your true and vulnerable self to family, beginning to work in groups, understanding cosmic consciousness, finding a new family, understanding connections, making meaningful relationships that have far-reaching impact, learning more about people's true selves, revelations about cultural heritage and family and personal histories may be forthcoming when Shumara makes an appearance in your life. She also represents strides being made on a global and cosmic level on peace, communication, technologies, and understanding six sens sensory experiences, dream experiences, astral travel, and time travel. <laughs> Working with Shumara. Welcome to the New Age family. <laughs> and right when I looked at it, it was at 111 into the song. And now I'll listen to this song called Believer by Jennifer Thomas on The Fire Within. The name of the album, The Fire Within. All right, continuing. Working with Shumara. Gently revealing who you are in safe environments, exploring more about galactic consciousness, understanding your own personal and cultural history bloodline vibrations and exploring your ancestry being honest in situations where previously you may have kept silent refusing to engage in falsehood for false peace being who you are becoming more sensitive to vibrational communication and higher vibrational living 
creating a new family based on values and beliefs that are sacred to you, being in integrity with your beliefs, understanding your true self is beautiful, powerful, and loving, activating the web in your life, working with the powers of the four directions, being open to the concept of communicating with beings from beyond our solar system. And that's really all tying in very nicely a little bit more information on how it works with uh, the High Council. Um, the the Council of Light and the Galactic Command and the divine beings in creation working with the, the beings of creation um, all throughout different places and spaces and time together. And, and us here incarnate on Gaia and Gaia herself are very much a part of that even though the majority of the people here on Gaia don't know that they are a part of that team. And so the more people that are conscious of this sort of thing, um, the stronger our ability to work through the web of life in, in a very intentional conscious way. Uh, for the betterment of all of creation, for the evolution of all of creation. This is what we've talked about so for so long, really. The clearing, healing, evolution, the change, the ascension, the growth, understanding the knowings. The truth is what this is about. This is about peeling off more and more layers every moment of every day and then every day and every week and every month, you know, just peeling more layers off, getting deeper, understanding more. And, and at times like these are very much part of that. Today, June, I'm sorry, July 2nd, uh, 2019 where we have a total solar eclipse hitting our uh, lower half of Gaia and uh, it is exactly I know that was the 27th sorry I don't think we had a total solar eclipse on this um, that's the 27th, but anyway, days like today with this total solar eclipse is a really, um, a really big deal as far as the reset and, and, and the push forward. So we're having this new moon on the same day as a total solar eclipse, uh, just a few days before the seven, seven takeoff day of our stargate stepping through the stargate you know going through that portal basically is what's happening and we're already pushing through these intense energies the dragons are really really big with this energy coming through and they have been and we've been talking about that as well and check out my past videos for all that information and also my website has the transcript for um a really big video there so I'm going to cut this off now prepare for the meditation and we will be right into that but uh, please just keep all these understandings and ideas uh, firmly in place about Shumara and the web of life and communicating through energy and being what you truly are and not the mask of of what you wear and that is about this reality but just about reality and in, in general just the 
stripping away the illusions and the falsehoods of what you are, which in this reality, you're a human being, most likely. <laughs> but outside of this body, you are a soul and you have a soul history and that has a soul spark and you are infinite and this is a page in the story of your infinite soul your fractaled um, existence out of mother father god in what place in creation you are meant to spark and here we're meant to remember this layer by layer and connect out through the web of life so we can get back the energy and and open up and have those threads uh, and, and the vibrations and the frequencies of the web of life come in stronger and stronger and stronger so we're able to hear this information and understand and see and feel and 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 be bit by the um, the power of of the layers of creation and feel that that intense love um, from Mother Father God rippling out through us and to understand that we we come from pure source consciousness in what it is to be in that pure energy of love uh, and we were fractaled out to experience creation and all sorts of facets of that in many many infinite ways and this is one of them and together we're meant to to turn up that power and really rise into a consciousness here on Gaia with Gaia where we we don't feel so separate because the fact of the matter is is that for the bulk of humanity there is still the question are we alone and that goes to show you just how very unaware and disconnected uh, so very many people are the bulk, like I said, of humanity. So question so much of this and more and more people are understanding that this isn't true. So in this meditation that we're going to get into, there's all of that plus the understanding that we're in a space and place and time where we are working with certain energies and certain um, themes of uh, what, why we're getting this or why we're going through these energies, what this is all here for. And the big themes for July is healing and clearing and uh, opening up and uh, self-care. Um, all of these things that uh, goes along with mastering your frequency and to do that, we need to clear space, we need to connect, we need to let go of things, like Shumara says, we need to reconstruct things, and, and it begins now. So if you could please put yourself in a nice, quiet space, light some candles if you haven't. Uh, you can put on your own frequency music, whatever you're into right now, whatever feels good. I'm going to have some on during the meditation, so you can just listen through mine. You can have both on. Usually they layer pretty well, 
just have it be a high frequency for healing, clearing, chakra alignment, um, just really good positive vibes or, you know, anything that has to do with healing and clearing. Again, light some candles, um, burn some sage or your Palo Santo, do both is what I'm going to do. Take some deep breaths and I will be right back with you and we will get into this meditation. Thank you, family. It is 5.50 on July 2nd, 2019, 2025 into this recording. Thank you so much, family. 